zombie apocalypse. Good day, Tinkercad friends. I need you to get in your Tinkercad and let's go to beta again. And today, we're going to work on slicing. Let's name this one Sliced Bread just because it's kind of funny. And put your name up after it so you can keep track. And I want you to bring in a box. And remember the cool thing about using beta, and this is a good double check of beta, is if you click a corner, you can type a new number. I'm going to go 25. I'm going to click on this corner, and I want to go 50. And I'm going to click on the height, and I want to change it to 10. Get yours like that, and then use Control D to duplicate. Nudge the arrow keys, so I'm just pushing the up arrow to make another or make that one move. Change the color so that it's easier to tell which one we're working on. Change its height to 15, just because that way it's poking out for our next project. Click on its corner and change it to uh, 2 less than 25, which is 23, and 2 less than 50, which is 48. So what I'm doing is I'm going to subtract 1 millimeter from the other dimensions, but I'm going to leave it really puffed up so that the whole thing is hollow. Now that we've got the sizes changed, I want you to select both, and I want you to go to the Align tool, and I want you to practice aligning the center this way. Rotate around by right-click dragging and aligning this way. And then make the green one a hole. And when you group them, you will have cut out the shape. So this is part of our slicing and dicing. Let's use those same techniques to quickly make a green roof. First, we're going to bring it in. I want to turn it so it fits. So I'm going to the Rotate tool, and notice I'm going to the thick lines. The thick lines make it easy to turn 90 degrees. Remember that we want 25 this way, so that it fits the entire size. And we want 50 this way, so that it matches. Practicing that Align tool again. We want to align the left edges, and it's perfect. I don't want to move it on top yet because just like we did the cutout for over here, I want to do the cutout for our triangle roof. So, once again, control D is in duplicate. Use the arrow keys so you can see your duplicated one. We want to click on that duplicated one and make it a different color so that it's easier to tell which one we're messing with. We want to change it to 48, which is 2 less, and 23, which is 2 less. This one, we're going to keep them on uh, the same height. We're going to click on the yellow one and make it a hole. Select both. Do a line. And we want them centered this way. We want, to, want them centered side to side. And we want to make sure they're on the bottom. So that way you can see the hole poking out underneath, which it already did. When I click somewhere else, I select them both. And when I group them, if we look underneath, it now has a beautiful uh, cutout hole piece. All right, I want you to take those two, and I want you to align them. Click somewhere else, and then click on the roof. So I'm just clicking the green roof, and I'm grabbing the little lift handle so that it lifts it up nice and nifty. You can see that I'm not perfectly aligned left and right, so I'm going to go back to the align tool. And I want it to be centered that way as well. I really want you to be comfortable with those tools for lifting and centering. The last piece of slice and dice, I'm not going to give you all the steps. I'm going to see if you can solve it by just seeing these clues that I have here. So there's your first clue of the parts I put together. There's your second clue of what I was working on. This should make sense to you. And then this is where I thought I was really cool. See if you can think of why I would want to use this and this together. And then look at the last piece. I'll just give you a little clue. I did have to puff that up from where it was a minute ago. 
And there you see how I used that skill to make something that printed flat and yet had an awesome shape. So there you go. Better than sliced bread. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, try and do something even cooler than that on your own and share it with me. Try and do Zombie Apocalypse.